Hey guys, hope everyone's having a great day. So you can see here, I have one box of the new 2023 Topps Chrome Logo Fractor. This was exclusive, I think it still is. Uh, some people are still getting orders, but it's exclusive to the MLB flagship store in New York City. Um, so people were able to call, get a max of four boxes. I, I was not one of those people, unfortunately, but I figured the resale price was around 150 on eBay when I picked this up. And I figured that's still a pretty good price if they hang around there for a little while longer longer i'll probably end up getting more i think that's good but i i do suspect they'll start to creep up closer to 200 which is unfortunate because i probably won't pick up any more but uh while i can i i figured i'd grab a box see what it's all about uh if you guys didn't see any last year this product is really really cool especially for the price they come out with it at i did four no, not quite. I did two boxes last year and really didn't hit anything crazy. So I'm hoping with the better checklist this year, uh, we'll get, you know, at least one or two decent cards. So here's our two Logo Fractor packs. We'll save those for the end. I'm going to just like quick rip these because you can't get anything except base cards out of these packs. So we're really just looking for the MVP buyback guys out of these five packs. So Otani and most likely Akuma. See if we can make any money back on the box right away and then we'll get to the good stuff so just going through here i mean we can get some good rookies out of here as well so um, i guess that's that's another thing to look out for but just flying through these i don't see anything crazy yet last couple packs here as you can see only base cards there's a pasquantino rookie it's probably our best one uh, yeah, so no MVP buyback, unfortunately, but that's uh, hardly even considered to be part of the box. That's really all about these. Um, this one feels a little thicker. We'll do that second. I have seen a couple ripped where one pack doesn't have any hits and the other has two. But uh, for the most part, I think you're, you're going to get a, a couple hits out of here. So don't see any in this first pack, so that might be the case for us. But this is what it's all about. There's that logo fractor design. Love that on the 2023 tops design. Um, starting off with a Scherzer on the Mets. We do have an insert in this pack at least. Uh, so let's see if we can get some good names out of here. We do have a rookie for the Padres. It's going to be an Eggy Rosario. And the insert is a Future Stars for the Rockies. That's going to be Ezekiel Tovar. They even have the design on the inserts, which is pretty cool. So that's a nice Tovar behind that. Diamondback. Nice! Corbin Carroll. There we go. Yes, that's what we're looking for. That looks pretty decent too. Oh, that is awesome. One box and we hit the carol. It is a, a reduced checklist, I think 110 cards, so it's a little easier to hit good names, but definitely not guaranteed, especially out of one box. Um, and then a nice Pete on the back for me. So I like that. We did get a couple rookies and a carol out of there. So for not having a hit, we are already starting off super nice. Um, and then second pack, I imagine we'll have something. Oh, I see orange. We do have two hits. Looks like we have a purple and an orange. So let's uh, let's go. Let's see what it's all about. We got a Shea Langoliers on the front. I'm going to go from the back. Looks like this one's upside down. And we hit a Michael Harris. I'm going to set that down. This one's a little off-center, but Michael Harris logo fractor rookie. I just threw it. I think it's fine. Uh, wow. So last year's... National League Rookie of the Year, and probably this year's National League Rookie of the Year. Super happy to have those. Hopefully we can get one of those guys in one of these parallels. Uh, and then also on the Panda Spencer Steer, man. They're crushing it. We'll put that down here. I've only got two sleeve left over, sleeves left over here. I wasn't expecting to get so much heat. Uh, so there's that Langoliers on the front, and we'll do the purple first. Oh, it's a blue. So we have a blue and an orange. Nice. That's even better. So let's see what we got. It's a uh, yellow. It's going to be a Garrett Mitchell blue rookie. Nice. We're killing the rookies out of here. That's numbered 62 out of 150 there. It's a really nice looking card. Garrett Mitchell's pretty solid. Brewers, I think, are making a playoff run. And let's see what this orange is. I like that color. Oh, it's Austin Riley, isn't it? Austin Riley, 11 out of 25. So 
We didn't get a rookie on the orange, but we did hit a super low numbered card. And we hit that Garrett Mitchell blue to 150. So really awesome box in my opinion. I'm super happy with that. Like I said, if we uh, if the prices continue to, to be around 150, I'll probably pick up one or two more of these. But uh, if they go any higher, I, I might not. Um, one of my favorite cards of the box, Corbin Carroll rookie, super happy with that. Uh, Michael Harris, rookie, with the rookie cup. Hit the Spencer Steer. And then our two hits, we hit a, a Garrett Mitchell blue, rookie to 150. And the Austin Riley orange to 25. Super nice looking cards. Very happy with this. Hope you guys enjoyed the short rip and uh, look forward to more in the future. Thanks for watching.